Hello everyone and welcome to Frank on the Lake where we are here live with Kevin doing an autopsy of a lemon for his anatomy class. Kevin, can you explain exactly how this poor lemon came to his de demise? Well, um, I'm a little deep, I'm basically almost done with the autopsy, but I have detected um, the right lung up here in the upper right quadrant um, in the thoracic show signs of a lot of mucus buildup. Um, the thoracic cavity also has, um, it contains the lungs you can feel, they contain a lot of fluid, as you can see if I just poke them a little bit. Um, there is evidence of a cranial fracture up here superior to the orbital bone, so I'm like trying to get in to look at that a bit better. The abdominal cavity is also empty of its contents, so that does suggest maybe vomiting. Um, we have a coxal dislocation down here, superior to the femoral region, and I'm trying to open his head and it's just not happening. <laughs> He's got a tough noggin. He's got a tough noggin? Yeah. Whoops. Oh, <clears throat> that's something you want to hear. <laughs> Show me your brains. This is really a lot more difficult. Yeah, here we go. So for those of you who don't know, Kevin is uh, studying to be an EMT. I need a photo of this for my report. <laughs> and um, obviously he is not a professional pathologist doing uh, oh dissection. God. Photo of his, there we go. Uh, but this is definitely part of his um, anatomy class for the EMT program. You know, he's... Ah, oh, he's bleeding everywhere! <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh... He... Do you have to sew him back up afterwards? No, I don't. Oh, you don't have to sew him back up? There we go. Good as new. <laughs> Good as new. What happened... Did you have to label things? Yeah, I'm doing that, and I took photos on the. Oh, you're gonna, oh, you're gonna do it digitally? Yeah. Do it? Okay. I'm just gonna, uh, there we go. Just put these all back. Okay. Don't think he's quite Humpty Dumpty, but. Well, he's dead already. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do anything. There we go. There, good as new. I didn't give him a name either. I think that's kind of... Did you want to give him a name? Lennon. Lennon? John Lemon. John Lemon. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. There we go. Wise man. Shot in the back. Very sad. <laughs> <clears throat> All uh, right. Determined a cause of death. Well, what's the cause of death? So I think um, what happened here is Mr. John Le uh, Lemon, uh, he appears to have fallen, and so he fell, and he obviously dislocated his hip um, while also hitting his head on the ground, uh, therefore knocking him out. And because his fluids are full of, uh, or his lungs are full of fluid, um, I believe he drowned. Mm. Probably in lemonade. Because he smells like lemons. Not because he's a lemon. That'd be that's crazy. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I'm glad he had a competent professional like you doing his autopsy to determine the cause of death. This is gonna be a closed casket funeral. His family can't see him like this. Mm, I believe it. <laughs> it's gonna, eh. They need to get him cremated. Okay. We will work on that tonight. <laughs> Well, all right, everyone. This is Frank on the lake. Uh, I'm that Frank guy. Out there's the lake. And look at, hey, look at, there's still, he's still got some ice left on the water. Not too much, though. So the ice had definitely melting. I actually saw a boat out there today driving around, um, which was kind of crazy. But we will see you next time for Frank on the lake and... Uh, hopefully we'll do some more of uh, Kevin's anatomy projects uh, in the future. Hands are sticky. <laughs>
<laughs> we'll see you out there.